What's up alphas? Today we have a really quick tutorial and this is almost like a cheater way for you to create marketing photos. When it comes to like creating all of my holiday marketing, fo or marketing photos, I need to get things done quick. And if you're anything like me, you wanna make sure that you're getting things done as fast as possible. You don't wanna put hours and hours into singular photos. So this is just a really quick way if maybe I'm too busy or if maybe I wanna create a lot of photos and I don't have a lot of time, this is going to help you to do that. Now you are going to need a few, I guess like things under your belt to really be able to complete this. There's gonna be a couple other videos that you might wanna stack with this one, but all of the links are going to be down below so you can make sure that you're completing this tutorial correctly. One of the main things that you're going to need is to make sure that you have some photos on hand of your product where the background is edited in white. That is the only way that this particular tutorial is going to work. But thankfully, I have a playlist link down below so you can make sure that you have photos edited with white background. And this is going to make the entire process a lot easier. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure that you leave a thumbs up down below and let's go ahead and get started. For my own marketing photos, I do this really, really easy trick. And if you already have your products edited on white backgrounds, this is gonna make it way easier. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below so you can learn how to edit your product photos on white backgrounds using iPicky.com. Um, I recommend watching that full photo playlist just because it's gonna help you to make sure that your product photos look great. And then once you have your products on white backgrounds, you can use them for a lot of other things. So basically what I did was I hopped on a stock website and I found a background, a Christmassy background that was white. Uh, I actually am using this one, but you could do this for any season. You could do it for any theme. I like typing in desk in front of something like Halloween desk, fall desk, Christmas desk. And as long as you can find one on a white background, you can do this really, really easy trick, okay? You can use uh, Pixabay is a great stock site. I'll leave that down below. Unsplash is another great stock site that I will leave down below. So basically we're just looking for a background that is white. Next up, I want to crop this into a square because I'm using it as a marketing photo. And if you weren't aware already, square images are typically best for your marketing photos. So what I want to do is kind of focus on this area here, this actual Christmassy area of the photo. Then I'm gonna crop it into a perfect square. And this is in the basic editor tab under crop photo. And this looks about right. As long as you have it at least 600 by 600, it's fine. You don't really need to make worry about making it any bigger than that. And now we have a nice little cropped area of the photo. I'm also gonna sharpen it up a little bit. You don't have to do this, but sometimes it helps make the photo pop, especially if you're adding an image to it. So here we are. Next up, I'm gonna go into the designer, this layering tab right here, and I'm going to add photo. And we can see a couple different keys from my own shop. We have a deer edited on a white background. Um, here's another deer set. And let's see, and we will grab, we'll grab this one. This is like a, a key for Santa that the kids can leave outside if you don't have a chimney. All right, so obviously these are not cut out and cutting them out would take a lot of time. The purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to do something super quick, right? So what I'm gonna do instead is add a vector mask and I'm gonna go around my product. And this is useful if you have anything else in the photo, otherwise you really don't need to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Okay, now I have it cut out. And then these don't really need to be cut out because there's nothing else in these images. Next up, what I'm gonna do, rather than spending the time to cut these out, is go into this, oop, go into this little drop menu and we want to use, I believe it's multiply. Yes, you can also use uh, darken, but multiply makes it pop a little bit more. And looky there, it kind of makes it like a little ghost. So it's not great for laying on top of things. If you wanna do layers, you will need to sit and cut the photo out. Uh, but if you're just doing like a little quick marketing photo, this is a really great hack and it only takes a few minutes. So we can do it with this one, multiply, and maybe I'll 
I like to take them and kind of like put the use props that are already in the photo to my advantage. So like if I set it right by these pine cones, I could kind of maybe get away with not having these cut out entirely. Or I could stick them, you know, up in the corner so that the chain is hanging off the corner. Like that. We've got this one. <clears throat> Click multiply. Grab it. Drag it. And maybe I set it like right up here by the stocking. So it looks like it's kind of peeking out from under the stocking. There's a million ways that you can play with it. And like I said, this is the cheater cheater way of creating super quick marketing photos. If you already have photos edited on white backgrounds for your actual Etsy listings, it's not taking you any extra time and it goes really quick. And then you can do, you know, your, your text adding. We could say, uh, let's not use Christmas. Let's be more inclusive. Let's do holiday because there's more than one holiday, right? Holiday, let's see, holiday, we'll duplicate that layer, sale, see, isn't that easy? So much easier than sitting and cutting those photos out. So I hope that this tutorial helped and I hope that it helps you to cheat this holiday so you can create marketing photos even faster, just like I do. All right, Alphas, I hope that this tutorial has been super helpful to you, especially if you're worried about the amount of time that you have on hand during this very busy holiday season. This is gonna make marketing so much easier, especially if you already have those white background photos on hand, which most of the Alphas that I've come across do edit on white backgrounds. But like I said, if you don't have white photo backgrounds available already, there will be a playlist linked down below so you can edit those photos very quickly. That way you can make marketing photos just like the ones that we talked about today. Now it is almost Halloween, which is awesome, but keep this in mind, right after Halloween is over, people are going to go into Christmas mode. It's like most people don't really even consider Thanksgiving as, I mean, they consider it a holiday, but they don't really think about it in terms of let's buy Thanksgiving stuff. Most people right after Halloween are automatically in Christmas mode. I know that a lot of people in our neighborhood actually take their Halloween decorations down and immediately put their Christmas decorations up. Up. So this is when people are really going to begin shopping on Etsy for those Christmas gifts and those Christmas related products. So right now we're considering this crunch time. This is the time to get ready. This is the time to prepare for your Black Friday sales. And to help you with that, link down below is my Black Friday survival guide, which includes a checklist that will help you to get yourself ready for the big Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday sales. Now, one final thing that I do need to mention is that our own Handmade Alpha Academy will be opening December 1st. So you have a little bit more than a month to prepare for that. I'm gonna go ahead and link down below our waiting list as well. Joining this waiting list does not mean that you have to buy, but what it will do is ensure that you will get updates about the launch of Handmade Alpha Academy if that's something that you're interested in joining. Not to mention, you can get some additional information about what it is, what some of our our students have experienced during their time in Handmade Alpha Academy and you'll be first in line the day that HAA opens. Not only that, but we will also be giving a massive discount to those who are on our waiting list. So make sure that you join that if it's just something that you want to hear more about. And in the meantime, you can expect a couple more videos from us as we prepare for Black Friday. I've got a lot of good stuff in store, guys. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you watch Watch the full holiday prep playlist if you've mentioned it. That link will also be down below. Lots of links down there today. All right, Alphas, until next week, enjoy. Make sure that you are prepping your Etsy shop as we go into crunch time. There is never enough that you can do to get your Etsy shop ready. And I'm gonna keep creating videos for you to help you along the way. See you next week.